Hi everybody, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and this is my lovely daughter, Claire. And today is her birthday, so we are making her peanut butter pie. Yeah, let's get cracking. Now, like I said, Claire is a very special young lady and she's a little bit different. She doesn't go for the cake kind of thing. She's not a cake girl. She likes the peanut butter pie and we have a recipe that is super, super easy and tastes Oh, so delightful. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you the ingredients and we're gonna cook this joker up. Well, actually, we won't cook really a thing at all. It's a no-bake pie. So that's awesome. So here we go, ingredient time. All right, for ingredients, it gets no simpler than this. Well, maybe a little simpler, but this recipe is awesome. Easy, here we go. One eight ounce block of cream cheese. And if you ever try to do something like this, like low fat, you should be banished. Anyway, uh, one cup of heavy cream. We've got one cup of powdered sugar, and we also have one cup, which is actually go real generous on this. This is important, creamy peanut butter. We're gonna use crunchy peanut butter later, but I'm gonna show you that next. You're gonna need some crunchy peanut butter too, which you're gonna mix with about a quarter cup of powdered sugar for the topping, but that's later. Uh, and also you're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla. So there we go, easy. Okay, people, here it is, confession time. I am ready for the negative comments to come rolling in and foam up my shame. And that's because I'm talking about the crust. Now, normally you would make a graham cracker crust, which is basically just graham crackers, melted butter, you mash it into your pan and whammo, you're in awesome city. Well, I got lazy and I bought a graham cracker crust. So. You can make your graham cracker crust however you like. I was lazy and bought the crust, so bring it on. Let the pain rain down on me. Now, into our mixer goes our delightful cream cheese, our cup of sh powdered sugar, hallelujah, and our peanut butter, which I'm gonna try to, you know, get out. I don't know how I can do this without making a mess. Oh, there we go, and we're good. I'm trying to show you without getting it in the way. I'm making a mess, there you go, whatever, here we go. So now we're gonna mix this up. Make sure that you're not a silly cotton-headed ninny muggins and you don't turn this on high or else you will have a huge, ginormous mess. So you start, lock it down on low. We don't wanna make a poofy poof. Look at you go. Now for the cooking people here in YouTube land, you will notice that I used the wrong implement on the KitchenAid. That's why I'm trying to get the goop to fling out of the whisker deal. I should have used the cookie deal, but anyway, it's gonna work out. We can get through this together. Your birth, so good. Sorry about that, I had a little moment. So basically, this is what you're left with now. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make a whipped cream, and then we fold it into this and mix it up, and that is our main filling. And uh, yeah, it's delightful. Now we're gonna put our heavy cream into the mixer again. Well, not again, because we didn't do it before. But there we go. Heavy cream goes into the mixer. Our vanilla, and I like to be generous on the vanilla. See, see, a little bit generous there. Because it's delightful. Now this is an option, and we choose to do it. You don't have to do it, but we like our, our filling a little bit sweeter. So that's why I didn't put it in the ingredients, but a heaping tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever you want, of a little bit extra powdered sugar. Now you're gonna whip this until it doubles in size and starts giving us some peaks. So let's get to it. Put the spatula down. Uh-huh. Are we there? My lovely wife, my bride, here she is. The light of my life, sweet nectar mama. We're going in, we're gonna check this. Ooh, that looks pretty peaky. That's peaky. We got whipped creamage. I think so. We're ready. She says no. <laughs> so now we're peaky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that into that. Here we go. Or here she goes. Look at her go. She's a folding queen. queen. Folding queen. Is that an ABBA song? It's horrible. <laughs> now what are you doing there? Just fold it. Fold it. Just fold it. That looks like I want to bathe in it. Yes. All right, now after much sass from this one, this is what she has labored to produce peanutty goodness, and it's going into the pie crust, so that's next. Light and fluffy and peanutty. Man, I should work for like a marketing company at Reese's or something like that. Oh, 
Oh my lanta. Would you take a look at that delightfulness? But wait, we are not done yet. Okay, people, now, if we were mere mortals, that would be a delightful, delightful dessert. But nay, I say nay, we are not finished. We are gonna make a crunchy peanut butter topping that goes on, on, the, on the top, which would make sense, because I said topping, or otherwise it would be a bottoming. And I don't, I don't, whatever. Okay, so what you need is you need about a quarter cup of powdered sugar and a quarter cup of crunchy, this is important, crunchy peanut butter. Now you're gonna fiddle with these, you know, measurements until you get the right consistent, con yep, I'm, see, I'm getting verklempt, I'm all excited about this. Until you get the right mix, so let me show you. So you're gonna go ahead and measure out about a quarter cup-ish of your crunchy peanut butter, and you're just gonna, you know, put in the powdered sugar, and you're gonna make these crunchy little balls of delightful peanutiness. Like I said, you add, you know, powdered sugar uh, to get the right consistency. What you're looking for is something that's kind of a, a crumbly, ballish delight. Okay, so now what you're looking for is a consistency somewhat like this right here. Booyah! Crumbly, if she could hold the freaking bowl still! <laughs> okay, so I had to get new help. The old help wasn't really working out. What are you gonna do? See what I have to put up with? <laughs> Okay, sorry about all that. That was uh, uh, not like me. Anyway, so you put your crumbles on the top of this and what you've labored to produce is raging awesome. Oh, whoo, can't wait. All hail the power of peanut pie. I don't think that's a real hem. This is nonsense. Now, normally at this point in the video, we would carve that bad boy up and taste it. But like I said, it is my daughter Claire's birthday. So we're saving it for after we make our homemade broccoli cheese calzones later for her birthday, which is what she wanted to eat. And then we're gonna have the peanut butter pie for dessert. So sorry, can't show you the finished product. Well, I'll show you, you know, the picture of it, but we're not gonna eat it. However, one other thing you have to do is you have to get that chilled. You want it nice and chilled so that it stays fluffy and light and delicious. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it. Uh, you know, like and subscribe. It truly does help my family out. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you guys have an amazing day.